Hello, uh, welcome back. I'm here. See, in front of me is uh, a Jack Kirby item that is fairly rare, I would say. I think only uh, 500 of these things were produced. I bought it long ago and uh, I always wanted to frame it, but uh, I just have not got around to frame it and put it up. But it's a beautiful portfolio, as you can see. It's massive. Okay, it's probably uh, I would say maybe 13 inch this way and 25 inch that way. But let's take a look inside. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of material they use here. It's not. I don't think it's leather. But uh, this was produced by. Dark Horse, okay. So this is uh, for you Kirby fans out there. Here's a piece of paper, parchment paper, and inside let me show you. It's a Kirby portfolio. This was created uh, after Jack passed away, so it was basically, as you can see here, signed by his wife, Rosalind Kirby, and this was number 392 out of 500. And basically inside you have six plates of uh, art. And you can see a little bit of the read. Let me put it there so you can read what was uh, said. You know, it's very well done. It's beautiful. Uh, and like I said, if I can uh, get my butt in gear and have these things framed so I can hang it up in my office, that would be nice. But for now, let me take them out for you to enjoy. I don't believe these can be seen anywhere else as far as uh, in print, you know. Jack is so prolific in his uh, drawing that, you know, who knows, you know, maybe this has been reproduced somewhere else. You know, it's hard. Uh, to fully appreciate the beauty of these things uh, without having a close-up look. So let me see if I can do that. Okay, this might be better. Hopefully you can see the fine intricate details beautiful absolutely beautiful okay and then take a look at this one the amount of details that is in these plates are just absolutely mind-blowing okay so that's one of the plates okay let's get to the next plate this one is basically let me show you what this one is it's this one here this is his penciling okay this is the drawing in pencil and this is what it is being ink so let's see if I can give you a close up oh gorgeous As you can see, 
It is so beautifully done. I love it. Absolutely love it. But they are better. Here we go. Once again, this is this one here. As you can see, the, as I have first shown, the penciling work is beautiful, but with the inking, wow. It's hard to, to video this, these pages because they are so big. I'm trying to fit them all in one view. Here we go. Look at that. So much details. Absolutely stunning. For sure, I'd love to frame this one for sure. And then here is something that was not part of the three drawings. Look at that. Just take a look at that plate. Now Jack Kirby uh, was so prolific, but at the same time, his arts are so expensive now that it is almost impossible for most people to obtain an, or, an original piece of his work because, you know, uh, they are so sought after, but I love to get my hands on more original Kirby art for sure. Just that, you know, I just can't uh, imagine paying the ludicrous prices that I keep seeing. You may, you may not be a Kirby fan, but I bet even the Kirby haters out there will enjoy the beautiful work that you see here. It's just gorgeous. Take a look at this one. Wow. You can stare at these pages for a long, long time. I have. You know, I took these pages out and admire them many, many times. And each time I take them out, I can easily get lost in just staring at something like this. Because Jack is great. Mr. Kirby is just fantastic at drawing. Those, it's so unique to his style. I think the only other artists that draw these kind of insanely innovative things and shape and form would be Walt Simonson but other than that Jack Kirby is so unique in his style that it's very hard for me to see anybody else replicate it they can try but not well but I think Walt Simonson is one artist that has his own way to draw a lot of this kind of design that is intricate yet beautiful or intricate and beautiful at the same time and here it is the last drawing and as you can see it's beautiful even the light area. It's just so much beautiful details on this. I can sit and admire many of these drawings each and every time I pull them out. Absolutely beautiful. So no doubt, um, you know, one of these days I would love to frame, you know, three or four of these up, if not all of them, because I think they all are worthy to be framed, to be enjoyed on a daily basis. Anyhow, thanks for watching uh, and I will be back another time. Hopefully with some more Kirby stuff. I have tons of neat little Kirby stuff that I would love to share. And thanks for watching. Bye.